Oh hey, how are you? Oh hey, what's up? Oh, I'm just here waiting for my girlfriend. I'm actually gonna meet my girlfriend for the first time. Oh, that's nice. I'm just over here waiting for my daughter. She's grabbing a bag of chips. She's just so excited. She's meeting her boyfriend for the first time. And she's 16, so I gotta be here with her. You know, it's a crazy world out there. I'm just making sure that she's not here to meet a creep, you know? It's funny how you're here to meet your girlfriend and she's here to meet her boyfriend. But like, she's 16 and you're 45. Yeah, that would be insane. I would lose that sh Thank God the age of consent here is like 18, right? <laughs> yeah, that would just be so weird. Oh my God. Hey dad! Oh, hey babe, I see you met my boyfriend. <laughs> hey babe, I see you met my boyfriend. This is your boyfriend? Yeah, that's him. So, uh, have you seen the new uh, Barbie movie? Go if you don't know who Paul Breach is, I want you to know that your life is blessed and sadly, I'm about to unbless you. <laughs> Paul Breach is a TikTok creep who's 43-ish. 42, 45 years old, and he allegedly talks to young girls and he meets them. And when I mean young girls, I mean teenagers. So this dude is a major creep. Recently, he went viral for a plane crash reaction. I think this happened a while ago, actually. Someone in the live chat told him that there was a plane crash somewhere, and he starts dancing right after he reads it. Oh, there's a plane crash in Tanzania. Oh, into the lake. Yeah. Me. What the fuck did I just watch? Why is a 45 year old on TikTok making thirst trap videos? I mean, these are not even videos, these are live streams. Why is he making thirst trap live streams when he's 45 years old? The way he reacts to that comment, like he's a psychopath and he has no feelings. Uh, there's a plane crash in Tanzania. Oh my god, that's so sad. Oh, another comment. 50 children just died in a car accident? <gasps> Time for a thirst trap video. Paul not letting his dad use the bathroom? Yeah, I think it's it up. There are no plans today, now it's tomorrow. My plan's tomorrow, busy day tomorrow. Oh, his dad is coming in! Why did he just close the door like that on him? Without even saying anything. I can imagine his dad being like 70 something years old and he just slams the door on him. Yo, hey Vanessa, what's up? Wait, why does she look so old? 22 years- Ew. Son, I need to use the bathroom. Taco Bell is about to hit. What are old people doing in my chat? Get out of here. Oh my god. Was that like- Did anyone feel that? That felt like a mini earthquake. Oh my leg! What happened? A lot of these live streams that he does on TikTok get so creepy and most of the time it's just disgusting. There was one particular live stream where he invited this girl. Supposedly this girl is a teenager and he's flirting with her the entire time and you could see that she gets so uncomfortable and her attitude changes completely when she starts to realize that he's flirting with her. They're saying that I'm dating you when I'm not. But yeah, we're married, we've moved in together, you're flying over to Egypt tomorrow. But get to, get to the first point, you like my voice. Thank you, guys. It's an incredible voice. To be honest, oh. I'd fall in love with my voice. To be honest, guys, I would fall in madly in love with this very well-spoken Englishman. To be honest, it is an incredible voice. So, hey. Because they're telling me that I'm dating you. Oh, I don't look so fucking disappointed. First of all, he keeps seeing how people love his voice and he keeps asking this girl, do you like my voice? Do you think my voice is attractive? Like he begs her to say that his voice is attractive. But when you look at the chat here, the latest message was, good morning, Paul. So no one in the chat was complimenting his voice. Well, to be honest, I've got an incredible voice for my voice. You can just do what you want over there. I could literally fall in love with me for my voice. Dating. <laughs> we are. Well, people who talk on TikTok 
fun little Why is he laughing? Does it not make you irritated that people are saying that you're dating me? Well, no, because I know I'm not dating you. I was, or like, even though I'm not, and even if I was, I would not be dating this man. But he has got a really nice voice. That's what? not the point. <laughs> that's nearly a yes. That's a yes. But that's not the point. Yeah, I mean, I could dominate America with this voice, to be honest. If I was. Did you post me on your story? What? Who? Me. Did you, Did you post see? me on your You follow me. Are you on my story? You, you follow. Has it appeared? How amazing is my voice? I feel so bad because this girl is getting so uncomfortable. She starts to get concerned like, did you post me on your story? Like, I just joined this live stream and you already posted me on your story? And he keeps going back to, do you like my voice? So, uh, do you think my voice is attractive? Do you find me sexy? And she's over here like, that has nothing to do with what I'm asking you. Ew! What is a 45 year old doing with a teenager on live to begin with? You can clearly see that she's uncomfortable. Yeah, but I know my voice is attractive, to be honest. I know I've got my voice. Oh my god. It's my voice, guys. Listen to my voice. Back to the voice. All the time. It is so peaceful, relaxing, just an incredible experience. Is my voice calming? <laughs> what? Is my voice calming? It's so is weird. Nice, voice? It brings nothing. It's just a beautiful oh voice. Oh my isn't god. It? Hi, guys. Whatever you want, I think. She does not find your voice attractive. If I was the dad of this girl, I would have been like, Oh, your voice? Show me your voice one more time. Yeah, let me hear that voice real quick. There's a clip of him reading the comments from one of his fans. And I think it's a girl who he met in a hotel lobby. And I'm not sure if this girl was underage. But as soon as he reads the comment, he looks terrified. You did meet me. You did meet me. Met me. You did meet me. You did meet me. We did meet. We met in a hotel foyer. We met in a hotel foyer. How weird is that? I'm really curious to know what the girl said that made his heart skip a beat. Even his breathing changed. He was like... <laughs> Wait, what does that say? We met at a hotel lot. Oh yes, Samantha, I remember you. Have you been? Oh my god, I'm so happy that you're actually here. I was just gonna... I'm 16. So, uh, have you guys heard about the new spicy chicken nuggets at Burger King? Yeah, they're back. What's up with that? Should we just like go grab some? Paul uses sound effects to pretend he has a woman with him? Yeah. Oh, bless you, love. Bless you. That came from your phone. <coughs> love. That's literally your phone. Fuck you know. Jacob, that's your phone. Bless you. Bless you. That is a fucking cracking impression of me, love. How you do that? <laughs> Jesus, my life. You can clearly tell that he came from a phone. Is he this desperate for a girlfriend where he pretends that he has a girlfriend by playing sneezing noises from YouTube? I'm reading the comment section and they're like, I'm Peppa Pig. Oh. Wrong video, fuck. I'm not coming. I mean, I don't bless care. You. Oh, bless you, babe. <laughs> babe, bless you. I was just, <laughs> babe, bless you. <laughs> one more time. <laughs> Bitch, I just said bless you four times. You sneeze one more time. <laughs> That's it. You're getting the bowl again. This should fix your sneezing. A 45 year old dude is live streaming on TikTok, playing woman sneezing sound effects to pretend that he has a girlfriend. This is the saddest shit I've ever seen. Paul Breach showing off his abs. He has abs? Now I'm kind of jealous. Abs? Where, where are the abs? This might be one of those times where I need my glasses again. Hold up, because I couldn't see the abs, you know? Now I should be able to see those abs. I don't, I don't see them though. I didn't see anything. Not only can I not see his abs, but guys, where's his booty? Not booty shaming anyone, but like, where is it? Is anyone seeing that there's no booty there? Like this literally just goes flat. 
His jacket is flat as hell here. He goes, look at this. I'm trying so hard to make my booty flat. It doesn't work. He's not even trying and his booty is just gone. It's non-existent. I really wanted to see his abs. Maybe if we zoom in more, more, more. Is that, wait, hold up. Is anyone seeing that? I think I see it. Oh wait, that's the reflection of my own abs. Uh, you know what makes all these allegations even worse? This video right here. I don't want to. I don't want to date a 43 year old. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to date a 43 year old. It's okay if you don't want to date people your age and date them even younger, but you know exactly what he's talking about, right? Maybe it's time I make a little phone call. 911 near the Burger King drive thru. What can I get started for you today? I need help. There's. Wait. Do you just say there's a Burger King drive thru near you? Yeah. Maybe I need to try the spicy chicken nuggets. I need to focus. Yeah, so there's a creep on TikTok and I need you guys to send people as soon as possible. Okay, no problem. We'll do that right away. It's gonna take a couple of days for them to arrive though. What? It's gonna take a couple of days? Yes, unless you pay extra for one day shipping. I need them right now. This dude's a mega creep. Okay, what's his name? His name is Paul B. <laughs> Say less, fam. We got you. How did you get in my house and how did you get here so quickly? What is this, Amazon Prime? Quick important update about the spicy chicken nuggets. I might have actually slipped and fell into my car and accidentally drove all the way to Burger King to try the spicy chicken nuggets. And then they told me that they, that actually ended at the end of August. So I got the original ones instead. So good though. Recently he started making videos with TikTok influencers and I really don't know their age, but like what is a dad doing making TikTok, making TikTok videos with young influencers? I get so disgusted with guys who are like 18, 20, 21, whatever, when they make thirst trap videos. <laughs> oh my God, did he just? Let alone a dad making thirst trap videos and dancing videos with young influencers. What is he doing here? This video got a couple million views, 4,000 comments, and she only replied to one comment only. And you know what that comment was? Someone said, did you feel safe? And she replies with, no, help. This girl is probably in her early 20s, maybe 18, 19, I hope so. She probably got a message from Paul. Hey, so this is Paul, the guy that makes thirst trap live stream videos. Um, you wanna collab? Cause I can get you some views. We do have a leaked message that he allegedly sent on Instagram to one of these girls before he was meeting them and get ready for this cringe war. She says, okay, babe. Oh my God. I feel so bad for these girls. What's the plan though? Cause I, I do have anxiety. Ha ha. Will you come meet? How old was this girl? Oh my God. If you get that performance, you get to a coffee shop and sit there, take a book, take music, but don't be anxious. Literally, don't be anxious at all. You may borrow as much of my confidence as you possibly need. So yeah, so you need to do your bit and then let me know and then I'll do my bit. Deal? While I burn myself in this lava bath. Hi. Hi. Who the fuck was that, Jeffree Star? Why did that sound like Jeffree Star when he says hi? Hi. 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 That was probably one of the worst highs I've ever heard in my life. And who ends a voice message with hi? Deal? while I burn myself in this lava bath. Hi. This dude is so nasty, but you know what gets me more though? People who watch my videos without hitting like and subscribe, like what are you guys doing? If I was a TikTok live streamer, I wouldn't be begging people for compliments and hitting on them. I would be over here like, Kayla with the $5 get, $5? Kayla, I just saw you at Panera spending 40 bucks. And you're over here donating five bucks? I know damn well you can do better. Kayla, either you do better or you do realize that I know your address, right? Yeah, the exact home address where you live because I might have been following you. Come on, people. Let's get some more gifts in this live stream. I need more gifts. I need more money. Let's go. I need to pay my bills.